We got the cutest card to make today, and it's going to be so much fun. It's going to be quick to quick, quick to put together also. You will need to download the free PDF project from my website. And what you're going to get, you're going to get three pages. Uh, this is the first page. This is going to be your card base. You're going to have this element right here. It's going to go in the front with the gold center. We're going to cut out a hole. And this little mouse guy, he's so cute. He's going to be peeking through this hole. Then down here on the second page, these three things here are going to go the inside of our card. And down here at the bottom, we have some banners that we can pick from. A couple of preset sentiments that we can uh, use, or you can design your own and put on these banners here. And here's a special edition here at the end. This is an envelope, and it's made out of cardstock also, and it's a 3D envelope to fit a 4x4 four four card. And, uh, since it's going to be made out of cardstock, it's nice and sturdy, and it's thick, and it's going to hold this multi-layered card that you're going to make. And it's going to be so cute when it's done. So go ahead and um, head on to, over to my website. It is The link is listed below in the description, and it's going to look like this. You're going to come up to the Home button here, Judy's Craft Studio. Hit the library and scroll down until you see Download Library Miscellaneous Cards and then the Cutest Clover in the Patch PDF. That's the one you're going to download for today's project. This one above here, the Cutest Clover in the Patch box, that's going to be on another video. It's going to be a little uh, gift favor box. That's going to be in another video, but it will match this one. So keep that in mind and we can come back to this one later. But today we're going to do this one. It's a PDF. So go ahead and click that, download it, print it on, off your printer. Make sure you pick 100% on your printer uh, when you print it down in the uh, additional settings. Once you get those printed out, come on over and let's put this card together. Today we're going to be working on this really cute uh, card today. It will fit into a box envelope, kind of a 3D um, deeper card. Since the card's going to be just has a couple layers in it, I just wanted to make something that would uh, fit this a little bit better so it wouldn't squish it. So in this, you'll have uh, three free downloads. You'll have the card outside, the card inside, and the envelope template. Comes in a PDF file, so just print this off. And when you print it, make sure you put it in 100% scale so you get it... Uh, a, fills up the whole paper and it's big enough to do this project. What we want to do first is just go ahead and cut out all these individual pieces. This here is the card base. This is going to be the card front. We are going to cut a circle in the front of this. Do this uh, several different ways. I'm going to be using a, a cut die. Place it over that and run it through my uh, die press. And this is about two inches round. Um, if you don't have something like this, you can use a compass and draw a two inch circle in the center. Or you can just find a round object that's about two inches, place that over top and draw a line around it and cut it out. You can use like an X-Acto knife would be um, good for this uh, type of project also. So I'll cut all three of these items out. And these items here, um, this is going to be on the inside of the front cover. This is going to be on the inside where you can write your sentiment. This will be our background page. And these are a couple little banners we can put on the front. And there's two choices here. You can have one that says Happy St. Patrick's Day or one that just says hello. Or there's choices here. You can just um, have, use a blank one and put your own sentiment on. And the last one here is the envelope. Go ahead and cut this around the white and green area. Separate that out. The little gray marks are score lines where everything's going to be folded at. Um, and so we'll go ahead and cut that out also. All right. Let's get this cut out and... Be right back. I'm going to give you a sneak peek at my next project I'm going to be showing you in the next video. It's going to be a matching treat box that goes with this card. And it will also be a free download from my website. And um, this is made on a print and cut with a Cricut Maker. But you can also just cut this out on PDF and cut it out by hand. It would be just as easy. And, um, and with a Cricut Maker you can size it however size you want that fits your size of paper. This is 8.5 by 11. And so um, 
When this is done, it'll probably be about two inches high by three inches wide, about an inch and a half deep. And it's going to have a little window in here, mouse on the other side, and it'll be a um, cute little treat box for um, St. Patrick's Day. But that's going to be the next video, so you have to wait on that one. Okay, so what we're going to do here is kind of arrange what we're going to do is work on this gold circle here. So however you're going to do it, um, you can mark the center of, get a pencil, something that's erasable, and kind of the center where you want everything. And I'm putting my die right in here. Let me zoom in on it. And it doesn't have to be exact, just something um, kind of where you want it. I'm going to put this on the inside of the die so it doesn't show up on the final um, result. Okay, that looks pretty close to the center there. And you can use washi tape to stick this down, or if you have painter's tape, something that's not going to, that's going to be removable from your project. So I'm going to grab some washi tape. I think it'll be a little easier on this paper. Let me move this section out of the way. Here, I'm going to lay this on top of, turn it upside down, and run this through. All right, we'll do this again in just a moment, so don't put it too far away. Here's the circle that got cut out. Yeah, let's remove that washi tape. Now, this is going to be your card base. And this is going to go over your card base here. So let's just go ahead and score this down the middle. And... stylus from my Cricut Maker, but you can use the end of a paintbrush just as easy. Just kind of line that up with the mark. Or what I purchased recently was this cute little T-square, and that lines up things perfectly in your card making. And just run your score line right down through there. Okay, and we can turn this off if it doesn't match perfectly, and it doesn't, doesn't. Let's see how much we're off there. As long as we could put our frames on here. And I think we'll be good with that. How does that off so far? And just get something and smooth your lines down with your, your fold. Now our final card, we want about four by four. Let's go ahead and uh, measure this now and cut it down to size so we can center everything else up good. And the reason we're doing four by four is so that it fits inside this envelope. On an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, this is about the biggest I could get it. Um, if you have larger cardstock than uh, this, uh, like the legal size, you could probably make a bigger card. But with this one, this is uh, what it comes up with. Got a little white on each side, so I'm just gonna trim a little bit off of each side to get my four inches here. Okay, we got our four by four card. And we got our frame, it's gonna go on the top. And you notice, we still need to cut a window in here, but I'm going to fix this um, frame to the front first. And then we'll get our die cut put right on the inside. We're actually leave that on there and just die cut it. Okay, let's go ahead and affix this to our... So I'm going to use a combination of double-sided tape and glue. One trick I've seen recently was get your double-sided tape and um, partial way down so it hangs off your project a little bit. And so we'll do that on three of these sides. There we go. Then after you commit it to where it goes, you can pull that tape out and it ends up being in a perfect spot. Okay, I'm just going to trim that off. Okay, let's get this perfectly in the center. Just like that. And your double-sided tape, you just pull that out on each side. There we go. 
That made it so easy to do it that way. So next up is making this hole in the middle of this. Go ahead and open up your card. Get your die cut if this is what you're using. And place that right inside there. And that's going to nest inside there. There's a tape on there. All right, another circle. All right, that washi tape pulled up my paper just a little bit, but never fear, we're gonna use this anyway. We're gonna disguise it and make something even prettier from it. I have this little gold splatter ink. I'm gonna put a little bit over here and we're just gonna splatter this a little bit. There we go, that adds a lot more dimension and color in it. So that comes out to be a good fix. Got a little gold left over in case you want to splatter something else here. Let that dry for a minute. It dries pretty quick since it's ink. So what we're going to do next, we're going to put a window inside here of some acetate. And I got a really good find this past week at a local thrift shop. I found all these scrapbook pages, these acetate pages. I spent several hundred of them for just a few dollars. And so I went ahead and cut out a three by three square out of this, it's nice and clear. Only need one sheet. Um, if you want to do a shaker style, you can use both sheets if you want. This is a great find. If you don't have something like this, you can always use a Ziploc baggie and cut it down also. So there's all different things you can use that has clear plastic on it. Piece of cardboard so I wouldn't lose it because it's just mixed in with everything else I have. Here's my clear acetate that we're going to use. And that's going to go right over here on the window. That one's got to mark some marks on it. Let's use this one here. And I'm going to be putting double sided tape all the way around this one here. There we go. Have this ready. Now this is going to go on the back of this card and we don't really want this tape to be showing. So we're going to put this over top of it, but let's go ahead and cut a window out of this. So the easiest way to do this I found out was just go ahead and center it to the back. Get your pencil that you had earlier and just draw a circle all the way around. Place your die cut on top of this or your um, your die on top of this and let me run that through the die cut machine and uh, you've already seen it twice already and I'll just do it real quick and be right back. Got my card, got the inside of my card, have my acetate, metal die, let me put this away before I lose it. Have these nesting circles Put it right in there. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and peel the tape off of this and put my window down over top. Get rid of some smudges there. Placement of this is not so critical since we're gonna be covering up the tape with a decorative piece of cardstock, just as long as it's within the card. That shouldn't affect the, I'm gonna center that right over the window. All right, now the window. I'm gonna kind of size it up to see exactly where it's gonna go, which direction. And if I need to trim any off, I'm gonna trim a little bit off this edge right here. And I'm gonna put a little mark showing me this is the top of this card here. All right, let's go ahead and put some tape around this. All right, I'm going to do the same thing on this. I'm just going to pull this double-sided tape back just a little bit on each one of these to make sure I have it centered exactly where I want it. And then we can pull the rest of the way out. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue along the circle. There's that arrow. Point it this way. And here's where I was going to put it. All right, let's go ahead and center this. I'm gonna pull the tape out, or the uh, backing of the double-sided tape out. So far, I got a nice little window there. All right, now we're gonna be working on the card inside. Put that over to the side. Card inside, or cute little mouse, he's gonna be showing through this window here. Isn't that adorable? And, uh, so we're gonna we're gonna make sure he's just under four inches. 
definitely. Quarters. And this is going to be the inside of the card, which we're going to have to cut down to size also. And this is going to go right on top of here. And so this is three and three quarters. We're just going to make this just a three and seven eighths across. Let me get to my cutting mat again here. A little bigger ruler here. I'm just going to put this at three and seven eighths. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and um, score this in half also. Score. Now you can erase those little pencil marks. Okay. Just going to crease the fold down a little better. So this is going to go in here like this. Our picture of our mouse is going to sit on top of it. And on the inside is going to be our sentiment. And we're going to glue this to the back. It's going to go inside, cutest clover in the patch, and I'm going to fit it down so it fits inside here. My uh, cute little mouse pictures is three and three quarters by three and three quarters, so I'm going to do the same with this. All right, that should work. And I am just going to go ahead and glue this right on here on the inside. This little bead of glue all the way around and a little bit in the middle. And in the front, we're going to put our cute little mouse. You know, I'm going to round the edges on here. I think that will give it a nice little touch. There we go. A little glue on him and center him on this sheet. A little bit in the middle. Okay, let's center him here. He just made me smile when I seen this picture. Last step on this card is to glue it to the back. So I'm going to put some glue on the back of this. Put that right in the fold. And if you have a brayer, you can. All right. How cute is that? A little card for Thanks Patrick's Day with our mouse and a good area to write a note in. All right, let's put the little banner on front and then it'll be time to flip. You know, that gold paint splatter actually uh, looks really nice on there. So never throw something away. Try to find ways to fix your goofs. So I ended up cutting out the hello banner and then a blank. I'm going to put these together to give it a little bit more sturdiness and substance to this. Let's go ahead and put a little bit of glue on this banner. Now we can uh, put this up on a little bit of foam. This is some foam I got from the Dollar Tree. They have it in white foam and the skinnier foam. Let's use the uh, skinnier foam on this. Just going to see where I think that's going to look the best. I think I'm going to raise it up just a little bit and put it there so the gold circle shows a little bit underneath. That looks pretty centered there. You know what? I end up covering that goof up anyway with that. There's the finished card. What do you think? Did that turn out adorable or what? Turned out so cute. Let's make that envelope. Oh, that's so cute. All right. So the, the gray lines on the envelope are your score marks. And this will give it a, just about a quarter of an inch width because you can see how thick this card is. And I'll give it a little bit more room in there. Scoring device, whether it's a end of a um, paintbrush or you got a little stylus pen. And then get your flat edge, whether it's uh, like a quilter square or a ruler. And uh, we'll go along these score lines here. And I'm just backing away a little bit and then lining up the tip of that score pencil. Okay, one more thing I'm going to do to this envelope before uh, we fold it is I have a circle maker here. Now I'm just going to put a notch in the top of this envelope so it'd be easier to pull the card out from in about a half an inch. Okay, so I'm going to slide this in here. There's my center mark. Put it in there. There we go. Now I've got a notch. Now I'm going to go ahead and bend along these folds.
Whereas with the uh, the tape, you're kind of committed. So I'm gonna run the glue along the sides here. Little squiggles in there. Okay. Get that flap up out of the way. So you want this at a nice straight right angle. This side also. And see how those flaps want to curl up right there? So just get something with a nice flat surface and kind of push those down a little bit. See how that did a nice job there? This glue dries pretty quick. So I usually don't have to hold things too long. All right, that looks like it's gonna attach nicely. Now when this comes when down, we can just get a sticker or glue it right there on the inside and our cute little card will fit right inside there. How cute is that? And here's this little picture on the front of that envelope. Put your stamp, address it here. Adorable.